thanks for joining everyone. You're more than welcome. And I am delighted to be introducing everyone to the Minute Response Service. Here at Minute, we are very excited to have this um, on offer to our, our Minute users um, in the UK. That is where it is uh, released and available. So I'm Hannah. I'm leading the sales team in um, here at Minute. And we also have um, Kent, who is the product design lead at Minute as well. So he has a very big impact on, um, on the product and how it's made and how you guys get to use it. So uh, definitely use this time to direct some questions to Kent. Um, and any property managers out there, I'll be delighted to speak to you as well, uh, coming from a sales perspective. So you've got two uh, nice um, perspectives on the call today. We will get Kent's input uh, later on after the presentation uh, for the questions and answers. So you can definitely bear that in mind too when you think of any questions that pop to mind, um, whether it's a sales question or a product question. Hopefully we'll be able to help you out today. Um, so the agenda for the webinar is to introduce Minute briefly for anyone who's brand new to the product, of course. Uh, and then what is the Minute Response Service? So we have abbreviated M or S, Minute Response Service. Who are our responders? And how does the Minute Response work? <laughs> um, we'll also go over pricing. And then, like I said, we'll have a question and answer session at the end where you can direct your questions to either myself or Kent and we'll be delighted to hear from you. Um, so for anyone who's not familiar with Minute, um, it is an all-in-one sensor for your short-term rental property. So it can monitor noise, the amount of decibels in the home. It can monitor motion, temperature, um, give you just peace of mind, obviously, for your neighbors so that you hear about any disturbances before they do. And it is completely privacy safe for your guests. Um, it does provide security for you and your home as well, as you can uh, get a very clear understanding of what's going on um, from a remote location, of course. Um, you can see if there is movement home, whether that is a booking that you have or uh, unexpected, whatever you want. You can make sure that the, the place is safe. Um, a minute does make short term rental work for everyone. Um, community-wise, guest-wise, and host-wise, of course. So with Minute, you're able to see if your guests have a party in a couple of ways. Um, the biggest reason, obviously, being from noise. So you can see if it's been noisy for, for 10 minutes, for example, and you'll get updated again if it's noisy or quieted down in the next 10 minutes. Um, you can also see if what the temperature is in the environment. Um, and then you can see if your AC or heating is on. Um, we also have integrations with other systems that makes you able to remotely turn off uh, AC, uh, which is obviously good for the environment, good for electricity bills. We also have a motion detection, which is how the security element comes in. So you can see if there's movement in the home, whether you have a vacant home and it should be stay vacant. You can see from minute that it is in fact vacant. Also, you can see when you have guests, um, you know, that they're home, that they've arrived, that they've managed to enter the building safely. Um, all of these insights uh, with the minute device. So why would you need a noise monitor? Uh, to save money, parties cost money, damage to all of your lovely rental homes is not something that anybody wants to experience. You also don't want to get fined for having these types of disturbances. Um, and you want to catch something before it escalates, of course. Um, the average annual cost of damage caused by parties in the vacation rentals is about a thousand pounds um, per year, which is uh, definitely something that minute, uh, you know, cost a fraction of to solve the problem. So that's why we're here. That's why we're doing this. That's why people have minutes. Um, obviously, being a good neighbor, addressing the neighbor's concerns uh, before they are concerned of it, hopefully, and then complying with the noise uh, in the in the area. So some places and towns and neighborhoods are becoming different, uh, coming up with different um, laws or 
you know, rules around short-term rentals. So Minute is helping you being a compliant host um, and having the actual data to back it up as well. Because, you know, often it can be uh, a he says or she says scenario where the noise is coming from somewhere, but maybe it's been blamed somewhere else. So Minute takes that whole concept away and it's all down to the data, the decibels and the graphs, screenshots, everything else, instead of having to uh, intervene yourself or even make loads of calls to different people. Um, so we have a poll for everyone, please. And we definitely love your participation. Have you had property damage or neighbor complaints from guests? So it should be popping up on your screens now. So please feel free to answer. Uh, okay. We have, unfortunately, we have a lot of answers saying both. Yeah. We have property damage coming up and neighbor complaints coming up and mostly both so that is yeah it's pretty um pretty obvious and definitely um not pleased to know that those are experience that literally is the worst side of the rental business and we do know that as well um and that is why we're coming up with these solutions that will hopefully make your lives easier yeah the overwhelming answer is both um, so at least we know the audience we're speaking to. Um, and basically, with the Minute Response Service, it's our uh, you know best solution of how to combat this and definitely even take the duty from you guys away from the situation as well. So we have the Minute Responders as a service, which will be um, the person getting up at 2 a.m. instead of you. That's definitely what we're trying to do here. Um, so... With the Minute Response Service, Minute's able to send out a responder to your property if noise levels escalate. Together with our Guest Connect feature, it gives you a fully automated noise control solution for your properties. So available in the UK only is very important at this point, just so everybody knows. Um, and the Minute Response Service, um, like the description says, it is the responder that will go on your behalf to these scenarios if and when there is an escalation. Um, so extra peace of mind for those really persistent issues. Um, handling noise issues in-house introduces several risks. So not being able to actually get to that noise event, of course, um, and not having the professional knowledge to de-escalate the situation uh, you know, oneself. It's definitely not something that anyone wants to sign up to when they do get into this type of business. Obviously, um, it's not an expected um, scenario to be in. And also, it's not easy to deal with that. Uh, you're dealing with potentially rowdy people, an overcrowded place, um, a home that is has unhappy neighbors as well. None of that situation is pleasant. So we definitely have um, you know, try to intervene here and replaced the whole host scenario with um, the responders instead, um, who are professionals. So building your own response team um, to professionally handle the potential noise events can be time consuming and an expensive task. So obviously, we're trying to intervene here instead of you guys going out and sourcing this yourselves in the UK, we are providing it along with the minute service. Um, because it saves on obviously researching, um, pricing, everything else, conversations that are unnecessary to have. So we've come up with a solution that are completely verified by the minute, um, you know, satisfaction levels, they're representing minute, and they will do this job on your behalf without you having to look into it or enroll them and pay them yourselves outside of minute. Um, Good and automated experience with handling noise events, saving time and money. The, the most obvious one, of course. So all these things take time out of your weekend, potentially, if it's a big rowdy group at a weekend, um, you may not even be in the country or in the local area. So this is us trying to do the thinking for you and the planning for you and just allowing you to take yourself away from that scenario and your team, of course. Um, we don't want property managers, you know, in the UK at the moment to have to do this whole part themselves. We want to be the people um, supplying this service for you. Um, so who are the responders? Um, the responders are at the heart of the response service, of course, we couldn't do it without them. They're certified security staff with years of experience 
Um, so they're very good at um, res resolving conflict in a in a friendly manner. Um, so we make sure um, that we only work with certified responders that are vetted, well trained, experienced. So that takes the thinking out of our hands as well. We have got uh, a verified security uh, national team uh, doing this that are experts in conflict resolution um, and not uh, anybody doing it for the first time or just trying stuff out. It, they, this is their, their profession and uh, they're definitely trustworthy. Um, okay, so now we have a very amateur video to show you guys. So this was taken in our own offices here at Minute. Um, it's an amateur video taken by our, our own team where we had uh, the security service do a, a demonstration um, you know, visit to us as if we were causing a ruckus and they were coming to respond to the noise, basically. So I just want to set the scene. This is an amateur video, um, nothing fancy, but I just thought it would be useful to put it in here only because it's better to show you than maybe tell you how uh, the responders will actually react to your own guests as well. Um, this is just a, an, an acting scenario. Um, we, I promise we did not actually have a party in the office. <laughs> um, but yeah, amateur video of one of the responders giving an example of what it would look like for a knock on the door to a guest uh, having a, a party, for example. So I'm going to play it now for you guys. Hello, I'm a key holding company. Uh, is the owner of the property here? Uh, no, we're, we're, we're renting it on Airbnb. Right, is it your, the you look by renting it? Yeah, I am. Okay, so um, basically I've been sent from the key holding company on behalf of the owner of the property um, regards to a complaint mm -hmm. we've received. Okay, can't, can't think what that's about. Okay, so there's a lot of loud music Oh, yeah, and, we're um, having a, a bit I believe of a that as part of the terms of your rental, you were not supposed to have parties and, you know, be making excessive noise, especially this time of night. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Sorry, so, um, I'll turn it down. Okay, yeah, if you wouldn't mind, because it is in violation of your, you know, the contract that you've agreed to. So if you do turn it down, you know, there won't be any problems. And I'll just pass it to the um, your property owner that you, you know, you turn the music off and there was no more issues. Okay, perfect. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good thank night. You. Cheers. You too. Right. Oh, sorry. And your name? Uh, Charlie. Charlie. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so hopefully everybody could hear that and see it. It's just an example of what it would look like. Uh, luckily, that was um, not too much of a conflicting situation that uh, they had to stumble upon there. Um, but how does the minute response service work? So minute detects the noise levels and when they've been over the threshold for more than 30 minutes, the responder is automatically sent over to the property to resolve the noise issue on site. So after the call out, you'll receive a report from the responder on what exactly occurred. And then you can use that as you might need to, um, you know, as evidence for whatever scenario you need um, to, do, to do with the host or, sorry, the guest or whatever else. Um, the, all the details of everything that happened, the steps that were taken, what they saw when they arrived, um, how the information was handled and received, everything will be in there. Um, the notification that comes to the to the phone of the host, the property manager, um, will look something like this, which is step one. So this message can also be completely customized by yourselves from your own property management company, whatever you wanted to say. Um, this one, hi there, we hope you're enjoying your stay. We've detected noise levels that are higher than allowed in this home. If you could please keep the noise down, we'd appreciate it. Obviously they can become more and more persuasive as, um, they need to be sent, but this is just an example of what you can do. Um, second uh, step is the um, alert that comes 10 minutes later. So noise levels have been above the threshold and you'll be updated again. So this is what would come to you guys, the property manager. Uh, the one before is an example of what would go to the guest. Um, then you would be notified that the responder is sent. So if the noise goes on for more than 10 minutes, Minute will send the responder. Um, you'll get constant updates 
as they come through and you'll be notified as soon as you know they arrive everything else um which is the next step so responder resolves the issue on site you'll get reports shortly after so once they've arrived and they've dealt with the conflict or dealt with the the guest um you get the report straight away of every single thing that has happened uh before and after um this is what the report looks like and the tasks that are completed and then how to get started so i will be happy to show you guys uh how to actually just enroll your home in the response service from the web app so um depending on whether uh, the audience here are minute users already or not um, it doesn't really make too much of a difference because it's very simple which makes my job easier so let me just share my screen with you and yeah here we go so those of you that are familiar with minute sorry for the delay there just want to make sure that I am in fact sharing this screen um before i continue on and nothing is showing um so we should be able to see the dashboard here uh those of you that are um familiar with minute we should be uh should know how this looks so you can see any noise events that are happening any crowds that are detected any um any devices that may be online or have any low battery, anything like that. Um, on our homes tab here, we can see all of our homes. I just have my one flat in London um, for demo reasons <laughs> uh, visible here. And then if we go to the response service, which is here just under integrations, it's very easy for me to en enroll my flat into um, the response service and obviously you can do this very easily when you have hundreds of flats as well i'm literally just doing this for demonstration um so we can try free for 30 days which i would definitely encourage everybody to try it's it's a free 30 days why not so i just have one home here just as an example and we just go next my address for this flat is already here and i've already put this in so open the gate with code one two three Whatever it might be, keys under the under the flower pot, keys under the mat, the gate is, you'll find the fob in the key box with the code. Whatever your situation is, you give the responders some information on how to access um, the flat here. They will only access, you know, if you have a, a flat that's in like a, a tower or a block of flats, whatever else, they won't, uh, they'll knock on the front door of the actual flat, but to give them access into that building is what we're talking about here um so then you can just make sure that your address is right and you can move the pin and then we can update and that's all fine you're ready to activate your minute response service so basically all we had to do here was add in our address add in the directions for how to access the building and then we get a breakdown of what it costs and i have a slide about it so you don't need to worry too much but this is the start of my free trial which is great and then we can just activate it and we should be good to go response service has been activated for this home amazing so that one's great so i'm just going to go back to my slides here and just sorry go back to my slides amazing so we're nearly at the end pricing might be a question for a lot of people so to cover the a flat a listing a home whatever you want to call it an individual listing is how we are um specifying here it costs 10 pounds per month per home to call to cover um then if there is a call out it's 90 pounds flat um you know if this comes out of a guest deposit or whatever else that's like up to how you guys run your businesses um but that's what we see most often happening as in it could be in the information when there's a booking that in the case of a responder this is a cost that you guys will have to bear as in the guests you know but this is up to you guys it's just how we see it happening um with our current users of course um and then we're on to the q a i think yeah Amazing. So I haven't been looking at the, the question and answer 
box, um, but I will look now. And also, I would like to um, introduce uh, Kent here as well, uh, who is on the product team. And let me just see what type of questions we have. Okie dokie. Hi, Kent. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Good to see everyone here. Thanks for joining us. We'd love to get your help with these questions. <laughs> it's a pleasure um, to be on board. Yes, thank you. So let me just see. Okay, um, I see one here from Amit. Can the responder get the property vacated from the guest? So maybe I'll give this to you, Kent, but I, I think I could probably answer it as well. The responders are here to be your eyes and ears on the ground. They're not like bouncers or something like that to like, you know, uh, do any physical contact or even entering the homes realistically. The idea would be to um, be your eyes and ears on the ground, listen, speak with the guests, of course, knock on the door, all these types of actions, but not like a removal type of situation. That's not really the idea here. Um, but yeah, hopefully that ans your answers your question. Oh, and I see, uh, yeah. Hi, Raf. We met you two weeks in London and uh, good to see you. Thanks for joining. <laughs> um, OK, so uh, let me see the question from you, Raf. We are existing. Um, OK, so will they usually be the same responders for a given area? So they might get to know us and the homes we manage. That could be a question for Kent. And then the second part of that question, how will they gain access through the communal apartment entrance if the guests do not answer the intercom? Mm -hmm. So Kent, I'll leave that one to you. All right. Yeah, so the first one, um, if it's the same guards uh, or responders, uh, it won't be all the same responders because they work 24-7. Uh, and we work this together with the uh, key holding, who is our service provider, and they are one of the uh, largest um, responder uh, providers in, in the UK and the leading responder providers uh, in the UK also. So I imagine it's not the same person. Uh, it will be multiple people using it, but probably the same people for that uh, area. Um, and then on number two, um, for the intercom code, yeah, how uh, we normally set this up with uh, our PMs is that um, Either you have a key box, and when you set this up, you can write in the instructions to responders, like here, you can find a key box, or you let them know that they should go to this uh, key nest or key kiosk to pick up the key um, for that uh, for the main entrance. Some uh, PMs also have that uh, in, in the instructions that they can call a certain number, for, for example, for um, to their front desk, uh, and they will beep them in, um, or they have smart locks and things like that. And then the third part of that question, will they keep the keys of our places? Uh -huh, okay. I think you've answered uh, it as well. Yeah. Yeah, so the key yeah. boxes um, and um, keynest can keep uh, the keys to your uh, places. Great. So will there be, sorry, uh, Janarathan, <laughs> I probably said that wrong, apologies. Will there be an option to pay a once-off fee to send a responder out in the future? So. Yes. Uh, Kent, I'll leave that with you, though. Uh, yes, that's a very interesting one. Uh, I don't make any promises on what we do release, but I think that's a very interesting one. Um, can't make any promises on when or if, uh, for sure, though. Uh, normally, developing things takes slightly more time, but it, I think it's very interesting, and I've heard this feedback before. Yeah, nice. Well, at the moment, the way it is, it's monthly paid to get homes enrolled in the service. And then there is a once off fee for the responder. Um, but they have to be enrolled with the 10, 10 pound cover a month. Um, that's the way it's set up at the moment. So from Lloyd. Um, do Airbnb support the introduction of minute response when I try to charge 90 pounds to the guests for the call out. Will the Airbnb support this? Um, Kent, do you have any kind of color on that? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, the way we designed um, how the uh, responders should behave. So, first, we work with the key holding, and they are really professional and licensed responders. 
Uh, and we also worked with the property managers in multiple countries to develop this. Um, and we have had multiple responders sent out. Um, and the thing with this is that we designed it um, so the responders don't uh, enter the apartment and they don't uh, throw the guests out. Uh, and with this, uh, there won't be any problems with responders. And I've spoken to uh, multiple uh, property managers and what they actually do here is uh, they take it from the deposit uh, of, of the guest um, for, for the call of fee. Thank you, Kent. And we have another one here. Do you need to have a pro subscription for this to work? Should I take that one? Yes, Kent, okay. you go for it. Yeah, you can be on standard uh, or pro uh, to use this one. It's uh, up to you. Um, up, yeah, I, yeah, you can be on both uh, to use this one. Great. And just for everybody's clarification at the moment, uh, the pro tier from Minute includes the um, includes the property management system integrations. So uh, if you want to use your property management system integration, then you'd be on the pro tier. And that would mean that all of the guest communication is done automatically because the phone numbers and email addresses are taken from the property management system um, from the Minute system. So just for clarification. Um, and then Raf has another part of his question. Uh, what happens if the responder needs to return, say, an hour later? Is it two call out fees? Yeah, so that would be a two call out fees. Um, I don't think I've seen any so far um, that they would have to uh, return to the property. I mean, it can can happen, of course, but uh, the feedback we have received so far is that um, people uh, get quiet when when that has happened. And um, as you saw in the video, also, um, I mean, I wouldn't want to mess with with that um, responder over there. Um, but yeah, if, if that were, were to happen, it would be two color fees. And also on uh, a note on the other one, I was going to mention with the um, response flow, how people normally set this up also is that because um, we have the SMS to guest feature also. So normally they would uh, use the SMS to guest feature first and just text the guest and ask them to uh, quiet down. But this is if it goes on for a longer time. But normally, um, and most guests actually quiet down on the SMS to guest first, but this is the real insurance that if something goes on for longer, maybe they don't, aren't on their phone, for example, then we send out the responder. And um, as I understand, this is also um, so, as kind of as an insurance for um, homeowners that when they sell in um, the service that it's actually an insurance uh, for, for them also. Thank you, Kent. Uh, from Imran, then, um, is a sample responder report available, please? So maybe we could just explain what the reports, what's in the reports and what they're like. Um, and yes, we definitely do have a sample report because there was one even in these slides. I'm sure we could get it uh, over to you, Imran, no problem. But do you want to describe the reports, Kent? Yeah, I can do that. Um, yeah, the report is very appreciated. Um, so I think the most important parts in the report is um, you can use this for um, proving that something has happened. But what's actually in the report is that um, the, the responder will go there and then they will uh, answer a few questions like, was it noisy? Um, they will confirm that. Did they hear any noise from, from uh, the exterior, like outside the building before they even entered the property? Uh, and they will also take pictures uh, of, um, of the apartment. So this will serve as proof um, for you. Amazing. And a bit of a different question. Do we have a timeline for MRS in the States? Uh, that's a difficult question. I could probably, probably answer it, but the answer is probably not really. Um, we're definitely taking it case by case. And also we do have a, um, a form on the website taking, you know, levels of interest from different property managers all over the world to find out, um, the need and the want for this uh, elsewhere, of course. Um, Raf has also asked, uh, will they ever involve the police? The, the responders, of course. 
Mm -hmm. So how we design this flow is that by default, they won't involve uh, the police. Um, and that's because we don't want like, well, first it solves all, um, most of the problems, uh, most of the times, uh, and we don't want it by default to just send a police there. But there is uh, this field which says uh, instructions to responders. And in this one, if, if you want them to send uh, the police, um, you can write that in there. But uh, you should be pretty specific on what uh, cases you want to send the, the police on. But it, it is possible. Yeah, so I think that's a really good insight to know that you can leave your own instructions, obviously, for entrance and what actions is preferred by you as the host as well for the security um, team when they arrive. Um, let me see. Um, okay, so Glenn has asked, what happens if they turn down the music for five minutes and then they put it back on again? Would it result in two call out fees and two charges? Um, I could probably just give a little uh, color on that one. So the thresholds in the minute um, device, um, you know, you can set yourself. So if you want it to be a bit more, you know, anything between five and 15 minutes is what we recommend. And that will give the initial uh so let's say you do set it for five minutes if the music's above 70 or 90 decibels whatever you set um for those five minutes it does need to be like continuous and then it will set off uh, the first alert which will send a text to the guest whatever you actually want the chain of events to be but most likely the text so it gives them a chance to calm down uh then there can be an automatic call that goes to the guest then you can send the responder obviously you can do it in a different order if you prefer um, but in this case, if they turned it down for five minutes and then they turned it back up five minutes later or whatever, the, the sequence would begin again, um, as far as I know, Kent, isn't that right? Yes, exactly. So um, I would say it's pretty hard to trick the system. Um, yeah. So we have designed the uh, noise thresholds, for example. So if you slam the door or if a baby shouts or something like that, it won't even uh, notify you because you wouldn't care about those events but you, what most hosts or what all hosts uh, care for is like if there actually is prolonged uh, loud noise for example a party or um, people shouting uh, so then you set the noise threshold for for example five minutes or ten minutes uh, for example and it then we take the average over that time um, and then we can we'll send a responder but what we also do here is that you can choose, of course, after the first noise alert, for example, if it's been noisy for 10 minutes, to manually send the responder if you wish to. But um, for the responder to be sent out automatically, it has to be have been noisy for around 30 minutes um, before we send that responder. Yeah, yeah, good point. Um... Kent, and that was in the presentation as well. So you're talking, this is about 30 minutes in when this would uh, be what's happening, basically. Um, yeah, a good question from, from Raf. Can a text be sent to multiple guests, uh, multiple SMS messages, as sometimes the lead guests may not be checking their phone? Um, I actually, Kent, is that possible to send to multiple guests? Because I do know, though, if they miss the text, they can get the phone call. So that's kind of the idea there. Um, if we've got like one contact, for example, the text will go first, then the phone call. Um, and then you could even use the flash and sound feature as well um, in the home. But Kent, I'll let you answer if you can send it to multiple guests on the same booking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can send it to multiple guests. Um, but you need to add them, of course, uh, to the system. So we have the phone number uh, to send it to them. But yeah, that, yeah, that's possible. Yeah, that's possible, Raf. Um, okay, so from Glenn, how many responders do you have and what are typical call out times? Uh, Glenn's in Yorkshire and wondering what the average response time would be. Uh, so I don't know how many responders we, uh, we have because we work with the key holding who are um, one of the largest yeah. um, service providers in the whole of uh, UK. And we have coverage over entire uh, UK. Um, so I think it's a lot of people. I can double check the number on that um, and let you know. Um, and then for the typical call out time, um, they have 
they are the best in the industry. Um, the industry leading with the call out time, actually, and it's the average is 40 minutes. But this uh, differs between like this is over entire UK, so it differs between uh, cities, uh, for example. Perfect. Um, yeah, there is a commitment to the whole of the UK on this, so um, we definitely know that much. I'm sure we could get a quote, um, you know, from them on specific locations and times, but uh, there is a lot of them because they're the biggest, one of the biggest, at least, in the country. Um, so let me just see what else have we got here. Um, can the responder get the property vacated from the guest? Um, yeah, I can take that one. Uh, mm -hmm. So back to again that uh, we designed this very carefully um, to, to make sure it works with um, different OTAs and like so we don't get in trouble with anyone. Um, so um, the way we did this is that responders don't um, vacate guests from the property, um, but they do tell them firmly um, to quiet down. Yeah, it's more of an eyes and ears kind of you know, less less of like an enforcer person kicking them out, but more like if you leave instructions for the security guard on what you want them to do, as in like what you want them to say, um, that type of thing, um, they will obviously listen to the instructions. They're not physical agents of removal, though. Um, that's not really what this whole idea is supposed to be about. Um, so hopefully that answers the question. Um, and yes, Raf, to your question, we can certainly um, send you that information. And yeah, I think we may have got through most of them. Um, so I think there's a question here from Mark in and around like supporting hosts when there is complaints. And how can you get the responder to confirm with the guests that there was a problem? Um, yeah, I, I think I understand what you mean, as in to not, the host doesn't get personally blamed for, you know, arriving or whatever, but that's kind of the idea of the response service. So this is like professional security group that do this for a living and have done it for years in a professional sense. So they are well used to turning up at these types of situations and professionally trained on how to resolve these types of conflict so that individual hosts and property managers and staff from property managers and property managers don't have to source these people themselves as well like so they do, they don't have to do it and it's instead um the security company that you guys can have affiliated with minute to do this instead um, so it should be a good protection for hosts as well um, to avoid, you know, getting some type of, um, I don't know, review on like a personal level, you know what I mean? Because it's not you there, it's a third party, so it's a lot easier um, to kind of deal with that. Um, and thank you, Raf, for the support. <laughs> um, And yeah, so Lloyd's asking about deposits. So it's up to you, I think your own kind of, you know, terms and conditions and whatever else. If you guys uh, do take deposits, then this the call out fee could be in that. Um, and that could be whatever your protocol is, but that would be up to you guys rather than the booking platforms or whatever else um, at the moment. Um, but yeah, so it's it's more like a relationship with keeping or securing deposits from guests and then being able to withhold it if there's a call out. That would be the idea. Um, I think that's all the questions. Um, Kent, do you see any other ones in there? I feel like that might be all of them. Yeah. I just want to say thank you uh, to Ralph. I mean, it's a great service. <laughs> Yes, thank you, Raf, for cheering us on. And it was great to meet you in um, in person. And yes, we were aware of the um, 
super hot keeping the deposits because that or sorry the taking deposits um that could definitely be a good idea as well in association with this service um i think it's probably just up to you know the property manager's side to decide on what way you want to enforce that or you know how you communicate with it but it is an, an opportunity there to do that and that's what we see our current customers doing you know whether they take a deposit at the start and keep it in case there is a call out um or you know vice versa whichever way it is but that would be up to to the way that you guys run your business and but yeah thanks for the suggestion raf and um i think we could be at the end I, hopefully we've given you a good idea of what the minis response is and how we are working um towards that um and at the moment it's available all over the uk and um, please reach out to um you know the sales at minute.com email address that's at the bottom if you want to find out more feel free to obviously reach out to, to me directly too and if you have any other questions um yeah we'd love to hear from you and hopefully that was insightful and, and helpful and hope everyone has a nice tuesday <laughs>